Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. Subscribe and join the fam. It is almost 6 in the morning. Oh, I should probably start my car then. But I have clinical today in the morning, obviously. And I thought I would just do a little... I don't know if this will be just a morning routine or a whole day or morning and night, whatever. But this is actually my last clinical ever, which is crazy. Like, no more clinicals. I just go to work after this. Basically, I just wake up around 5.30, 5.45, anywhere in between there. And I don't do much in the morning, I have to be honest. I don't wear makeup. Obviously, you can tell my face is a little red still from me just washing it. But like I have to wear a mask all day, so I'm like, well, literally, what's the point of wearing makeup anyways? So I just do my little go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, yada yada. Put my Apple Watch on, um, I put my scrubs on. I always wear this undershirt under my scrubs because I'm always freezing. And it's only like 25 degrees out right now, which is terrible. I usually put my hair up, but I'm going to wear a hat today since it's so cold and it's snowing. We got our first snow this weekend. I'm miserable about it. But I'm going to wear a hat and it's cold, so I'm just going to throw my hair up when I get there. Which reminds me, I should probably find hair ties. Yeah, honestly, super quick, fast morning routine. I'm not a morning person, like, literally at all. I hate mornings. I hate everything about it. So... I have to be as quick and efficient as I can. So I'm gonna go out in the kitchen. I usually make coffee or tea. I pee a lot when I have coffee, so I think I'm not gonna do that today. I'm not exhausted per usual. I'm a little more awake, so I think I'm just gonna do some tea and then get my lunch together and head out and do my normal clinical day. I always like make sure I have my laptop in my bag too because during my breaks, my breakfast and my lunch break, I like doing homework. That's just a good like downtime that I can do my homework. And then this clinical binder just has like forms I need signatures on and my hours, all that fun stuff. And then the only other thing really in here besides my lunchbox that I'll put in here is this clipboard. And this is basically, I have my work schedule on there but I just put my papers on there with all the patient information that way I can just close it and stick it in my pocket and then the rest of this bag is literally I'll put my keys and wallet in here and then my pen stethoscope all that fun stuff in the bottom pocket and I do have a what's in my clinical bag if you want to see that I walk with you to Georgia have you ever been in love Dove in from high above, and if the answer's no, well then I'd like to get to know ya. And though I know these lights are blinding, I will guide us home. Cause I don't know what I've been told, the weather outside is not that cold. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Enjoy. 
Hello. Oh, I think that actually makes it worse. I don't know. It's literally dark out, so the lighting's just gonna suck. But anyways, it's eight o'clock and I'm going home. This is what sucks about working 12 hour shifts is because you leave your house and like get to work and it's dark out. And then you leave work to go home and it's dark out. So like you don't see any daylight, so it kind of sucks. So happy when I'm gonna work nights and I have the days free. But anyways, I just finished my very last clinical ever. Hopefully ever. I don't know if I'll go back to school. That's for another time in my life. But my last clinical of nursing school. And that is insane. Like it's not, it just hit me. My preceptor was like saying goodbye and all that yada yada. And I was like, oh my God, I am literally graduating. Like I don't have any other clinicals. The only time I ever have to go back to this hospital is to work. Cause I'm gonna work where I did my clinicals. So, it was actually a pretty hectic day. I have my clinical on just a basic like post-surgical med search. So, kind of boring, but also nice to learn because you get a very big variety of patients, different acuities, all of that. So, I know students hate med surge units and I completely understand why unless it's like a specialty med surge. But I do think that it can be good to learn on. Unless your like heart is like absolutely set on like labor and delivery or ICU or emergency, whatever. Otherwise, I don't think med surge is bad at all to like just learn things, you know? I'm heading home. I will show you guys what I do after clinicals. My clinical days are not full of much, or clinical slash work days, whatever, they're the same basically. They're not full of much besides being at the hospital. I wake up, I have a really quick morning like I showed you guys. Like there's not really much I need to do in the morning. And then when I get home, I basically, I always shower, obviously, like gross. And I eat dinner. I do homework if I have homework to do, which I definitely do because I did absolutely none over Thanksgiving break, which was a big mistake. And I go to bed. I definitely don't work out on those days, that's for sure. I've tried doing that and you know, it's just not very motivating, so. on the way but i could use it right now cuz i heard lovings on the way but i could use it right now cuz i heard lovings on the way but i could use it right now cuz i heard lovings on the way hello it is hmm, almost 11 o'clock already i didn't realize it was that late to be honest i know it doesn't look like it because my hair is dry but I did shower. I just didn't wash my hair. I threw my hair in like a bun and just washed my body because I just washed my hair like two days ago into the fridge to look for leftovers, which there was, which was great. Rice, chicken, made some broccoli with that. Um, I had leftover apple pie because we still have it left over from Thanksgiving and it needs to get eaten and like why would I not want pie? I also did a little bit of homework and talked to my mom because I had something that was due today for tonight by midnight and then my mom was sitting on the couch so I just sat out there and talked to her for a while probably too long I'm so happy that it's the holidays because it looks so nice decorated for Christmas we're not done decorating but like with the lights and the wreath and their um tree just so pretty but anyways i'm in here now finishing my night up my routines are not anything special i am going to wash my face it's looking a little rough today because i had my mask on all day and i ran out of some products a couple weeks ago three weeks ago and my face broke out because, you know, I'm just someone that struggles with acne like 90% of people out there. 
Every night I wash my face with this CeraVe facial cleanser with, um, what's it called? Salicylic acid. Looks like this. I love this stuff. Literally, I think it helped my face a lot. I know I have some redness, but that's because I have rosacea, so like that doesn't go away, unfortunately. But this has drastically helped like acne and texture problems. I kind of change up my skincare routine depending on the day. If I shower, then I do a face mask or this um, peeling solution. It's like this red bottle one that literally looks like blood, but it's AHA and BHA and you just leave it on your face for like five to 10 minutes and it helps with texture irregularities. And I would say acne as well, kind of like helps pull everything. But when I don't do that, which I did it the other day I showered and I only do that once a week. So not doing that today. I do some other kind of exfoliation and I either use Paula's Choice. This is the anti-redness exfoliating solution, 2% salicylic acid, just like the um, face wash that I use. Looks like this, it's from their clear line, which is like this blue color. And basically just helps like blemish prone skin and exfoliate your skin. I also, I'll switch up between that and the ordinary products. Sometimes my face gets used to things and I need to switch it up. That Paula Choice one's almost gone, so I bought this ordinary one. This is a, another exfoliating solution. I love exfoliating solutions that are like a daily use so they're subtle enough where it doesn't like super affect your skin but it also still works. But this is glyce glycolic, glycolic, I don't know how to like pronounce things, 7% toning solution. So looks like this, it's a really big bottle, it lasts a really long time so I just stocked up on this when I went to Ulta the other day and that way I just have it whenever I run out. Moving on to serums, I have two. I use these morning and night. First is hyaluronic acid and what is this? 2% plus B5. And this is a water-based serum. So I kind of dampen my face and then rub it in and it kind of activates it. But this just um, kind of hydrates your face and locks that moisture in. And then the last thing is this niacinamide and zinc serum. This kind of just like closes to your pores, helps with scars, stuff like that. Basically all of this helps with blemish prone skin. So if you have that, that's how I am. I put that on and then I finish off with CeraVe lotion. This is, I don't really know what this one is. Just some blue one, I don't know. But I love it, it's like a thick moisturizer but it dries matte so you can use it like during the day still. That is it. I'm going to wash my face, brush my teeth, and get into bed and fall asleep. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. I don't know what I've been told. The weather outside is